morning, it's Kathy, aka your girl, Nurse Chow. I'm an ICU nurse in Las Vegas. And today I'm bringing you guys with me to work to the front line to show you a day in the life of an ICU nurse. I'm gonna show you what I do to get ready, what I do at work and the precautions that I take to keep myself clean and safe during the crazy time that is going on in the world right now. So get ready, come through. You know it's gonna be exciting. You're gonna learn some stuff. And I know a lot of people have been afraid of nurses and other healthcare providers right now when they see them out in public. I just wanna show you guys that we do in fact protect ourselves as much as we can to protect our families, to protect the community and all of you. And these are the precautions that we take. Of course, every facility is different. This is just a little glimpse into my day specifically as an ICU nurse. So let's get to it. It is 6.08 p.m. I've already showered, which is a win within itself. Teeth are brushed, face is washed, so now it is time to get ready. All I do really is apply sunscreen. Shiseido is my favorite brand. And I do this because it's still a little bit sunny when I drive to work. You gotta protect that skin, baby girl. You gotta protect it. So sunscreen, and then I just do a little bit of brow filler, and that's it. We try to keep it simple. You know, there's really no one to impress here. So <laughs> just some brow filler now. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. I apply Rodan Fields Lash Boost. I'm currently trying to grow out my lashes because I'm all about that natural life look. And just because we're working does not mean we cannot be boosted. Just brush the hair a little. I bring a shower bag with me to work because after I take care of these patients, I wanna make sure I don't bring anything home with me to keep my loved ones safe. And so I take a shower at the hospital and then I take another shower when I get home. So the first shower, at the hospital is just to get rid of that superficial initial dirt and grime and then the real scrub down is at home this is the bag that i bring i bring my own towel because hospital towels kind of gross soap face wash and small shampoo and conditioner shout out to the hotel shampoos and conditioners for being clutch right now flip-flops yes inside a seafood city bag so that when they're dirty they can go right back in the bag I bring a shirt, there's a sports bra in here somewhere, I bring pants, I don't bring underwear because since I shower again at home, I don't want to waste a panty, sorry if that's TMI. I also bring a wide tooth comb to comb my hair while it's wet, and that's it. I'm ready for work in my Janu scrubs, these are clean, then once I get to the hospital I'm going to change into surgical scrubs, then change back into these before I take a shower. Then take a shower, change into a separate pair of home clothes, then go home and take another shower. I normally try to eat at home before a 12 hour shift because you never know how that's gonna go. And sometimes you won't get a chance to eat, but I'm running a little bit late and I also do intermittent fasting, so it's actually good for the fasting and I'm gonna bring my lunch with me to work. This is my dog Milo. I play with him and kiss him before I go off to work. Then I grab my work shoes from my garage. These shoes are not allowed to touch the inside of my house. They go straight to the outside. And now we are all ready to go. While I drive to work, listening to music is my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite way to relax. I love jamming out to music in the car and singing my heart out, even though I definitely cannot sing. <laughs> Someone wrote the cutest and sweetest messages on our walkway while we go into work. They're just super encouraging and we get to read them before we begin our shift. The outpouring of love that we've received from the community has been amazing. As soon as we get into the break room, we put all of our stuff away. That's our work bag, shower bag, and our lunch. Then we start grabbing all of the stuff that we need to keep ourselves safe and protected during the shift. Those are shoe covers, a hair bouffant, and a surgical mask. Then we change into a pair of surgical scrubs. This is so that we can protect the scrubs that we brought in from home and keep those clean. We then apply all of the items and you know, it's not the cutest look in the world, but it is a safe look. Shoe covers are on. Now I'm gonna take my clean scrubs and my patient belonging bag and put it away till the end of my shift. 
put our scrubs away in a drawer at the nurse's station. Now let's get this shift started. So we're gonna find the day shift nurse and get report from them, check on our patients, make sure their vital signs are good. We're gonna make sure that no drips will run out, then we clean the nurse's station. When they designed this unit, they made every room a negative pressure room. A negative pressure room is essentially a giant vacuum and this is aiming to prevent infectious particles from escaping. Now that you saw a little bit of the unit, let's talk about what we've done so far in the shift. We looked at all the orders for our patients, checked lab values, and now it's time to give meds. This is by far the nurse's busiest time of the shift. We cluster our care as much as possible, so when we're in there doing meds, we're doing a lot of other things all at the same time. Our patients are on the ventilator, one of them had a low oxygen level, we had to start some paralytics to help with that, and now it is time to chart. It's 4 a.m. Thankfully, no patient emergencies have happened thus far on our shift. So now it's time for us to draw our morning labs. We're going to draw this ourselves because the patient has a line. Then it's time to give our patients a bath. Our manager ordered us some food on nights. Thank you. Got chicken wings. Yes. Got on my lunch break. It's about 4.35 in the morning. We get one unpaid 30 minute break and two paid 15s. So if you do get the chance to savor your lunch break, definitely savor it. This night has been busy, lots of tasks and busy work and some patients are sick, but overall it's been a good night. Can't wait to finish the last three hours of the shift, take a shower here, take a shower when I'm home, be super clean and then crawl up into my bed. I'm going to show you guys the exact order in which we put on our gear or PPE as it's called. We do this each and every time we enter the patient's room and we don't use N95s at my facility. We use these air purifying respirator machines or pappers. Every time we leave the room, we clean the machine and the papper hood. Almost done. We gave report, finished all of our stuff. We just have to sanitize and then we are out. So now the shift is over and I'm gonna change back into my scrubs. Then we're gonna go find a shower, find Vanessa, and then get clean before we go home. The day is done. Now I'm gonna go find a shower. Vanessa's waiting over there and now Denise is almost done. Then we're gonna go shower together separately, but together, you know what I mean? But. Yes, it was a good shift, very busy. I got a raging headache, so hopefully the shower is gonna help relieve it a little bit. This is my shoe decontamination kit. I saw some donuts in the break room, so you know your girl had to grab one. Now it's time for shower number one at the hospital, just to get that initial dirt and grime off. I met up with Denise and Vanessa, my make you baby girls. <laughs> So my little biohazard bag had gloves and a CHG wipe. So now I will clean the bottom of my shoes before I get into my car. And yes, I'm leaving at 9.30 because me and my coworkers were decompressing after a stressful shift. Before we step foot inside the house, we take our shoes off and put them immediately back into the garage. They're not allowed to touch anything on the inside. And we take our scrubs, put them straight into the washing machine. Then before we can touch our face or anything else, we wash our hands very thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. And now that I'm home, that means I'm taking a shower at number two. Shower number one was at the hospital to get the initial dirt and grime off. And now it's time for shower number two before we go to bed. So I love to lotion, I use a vino. Now I have an entire skincare routine that I go through. I won't bore you with all of the products, maybe in a different video, but here are some of the products that I use. Skincare done, manifesting some serious, amazing skin this year. Got my lash boost on, 
Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Before I go to sleep as well, my vision board. And now we can go to sleep and do this all again tomorrow because I'm back to work tonight. Last night was busy and I spent like an hour and a half decompressing with my coworkers. Sometimes that's just what you need. This is essentially the nurse life. Long shifts, but the hours are worth it. All right, you guys, I'm off to bed. Your girl is tired. It was a long shift. Still have a bit of a headache, but nothing some sleep and some water can't fix. Thank you so much for tuning in and for coming with me to work. I hope you learned a lot about the ICU, and if you have any questions about the extra precautions that I take at work, drop a comment down below or any questions about nursing in general. I would love to hear your guys' feedback, and stay safe, guys. Mwah. Bye. Perfect collide